something happened. There was, there was a burden lifted off of me that yeah, night. And I know yeah, exactly yeah. where I was at. 
I know exactly how I felt when that happened. Yeah. I believe that's an experience, and I know I've yes. went back to it for 25 that's years. Right. Yeah, that's Plenty of times I've been down and down. Give it to you. And okay. it's, it's so, so down and low and, and worry. And, you know, that's one of the worst things we can do is worry. The Lord has everything in His hands. Amen. And, you know, we worry. We're human. We yeah, worry we about do, things. Buddy. But, you know, I went to... <clears throat> I was just thinking about how Brother Job in the Bible, how how he the, the devil come to the Lord and and asked, you know, he said, and the Lord told him, said, this is one man here that he's a righteous man, and and and, and the devil wanted him, didn't he? And the Lord told him, said, you can do anything you want to, to, to Job, but you just spare his wife, didn't he? Yeah. And the Bible says that it was a little a little while later that. That Job was in his house, and, and his sons and, and daughters had got together for a little get together. And Job was in his house, and the Bible says that yeah, a servant Lord. come running in, and Job was a rich man. He had lots of things. And a servant come running in and said, Master, Master, <laughs> said, a great windstorm come, and it destroyed the house that your kids was in. And yeah. They're all dead. And, and a master and another one come in and said, Master, the Canaanites come in and, and they destroyed and, and they stole everything, all your cattle. It's all gone. You've lost everything. And, yeah. and, you, and you know what? The Lord, Job just turned around and he, he, the Bible says he just turned around and prayed and said, Lord, 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 and the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh yeah. away. But yeah. bless the name of Jesus Christ. You yeah. think about that, brother. Yeah. He lost everything. And, yeah. and you know what? <clears throat> The devil come back. He wanted more, didn't he? And he come back and he said, No, he said, This is a righteous man. Yeah, he is. But I want you, I, if I hurt him, if I, if I make him sick, if I yeah. do something to him, he'll curse your name. And the Lord said, Don't you do what you want, but does spare his life. And the Bible says that great boils and sores come all over Job. And yeah. it was all over his body. Could you imagine that? They said from the soles of his feet to the Amen. hair on his head. Amen. He was in misery and suffering. And, and you know, and then his wife came to him and said, Why don't you just cuss the Lord? Why don't you just curse the yeah. Lord? And that way you can you, you can die and then you'll be all right. You'll feel better. And he told her she was such a foolish woman. Well, yeah. You think about the faith that he had, brother, that he had in his Lord. And, you know, I think about that and, how, how that happened you know, so many times that, yeah, that I was in Cleveland, happened. Ohio, and, and, I, and Job would come to my mind lots of times. And I was in Cleveland, Ohio, and my little daughter was sick, and, and we didn't know oh, we took her to the hospital and, and the Bible, and they couldn't do nothing with her. And so we got up one night about 9 o'clock. She was so sick, and I told him, I said, we're going to Cleveland. We're going to see if we can get some help. Yeah. And, you know, I was praying, and I was calling people, and, I was calling my mother. I said, pray. I want you to pray. Call people and pray. We're going to Cleveland. And, you know, we left and got there about 3 o'clock in the morning. And, and they took her in and the emergency room. And she, her colon was so, her, she was actually, she was about four months pregnant. And, and her colon was so swelled on the inside that they said she had something called toxic megacolon. And it was ready to bust. And, and they had to go in right in and do emergency surgery, and they had to make two holes just to give her some relief. And, you know, I was praying, and I was calling back home, but, you know, old Job would come to my mind, how what all he lost. And, and I didn't want to lose my little girl. I was so scared. And the doctors come in and, and told her, said, maybe you, the best thing to do is, is to abort this baby. Maybe you need to abort it because it's very, very serious. You could lose your life trying to give it. And, you know, my daughter just sat there, and she just cried a little bit. And I thought, I went over to her, and I said, Honey, I said, you're in a tough spot. I said, we're in a tough spot right now, but we know the Lord can take care of this. What do you want to do? She Amen. said, I believe Jesus will help me. I believe Jesus will help this little baby being born. And, you know, she went about two months, and they had to do another surgery on her. Finally, they done a C-section. My little grandson was... He wasn't much bigger than this. He was one pound and eight ounces. And they put him in the unit and he had to stay there. And they told us, they said he could stay there. He might be here three or four months. We don't know. But, you know, we had a Savior. I was calling back thanking the Lord. I said, thank you, God, you brought him into this world. There's a reason you brought him. Will you take care of him? Will you do what he needs? Will you take care of my little daughter? You know what? My little daughter got sick again. We had to take her, and, and we brought that little boy home <laughs> three pounds. Something. 
You know, now he's 11 years old and he's running around yeah, playing sports. Healthy, and I thank you, God, every day I lay yeah, eyes on him. I thank yeah. God he done it. But you know what? God done more than a miracle of that. He, he, my little daughter was laying there and they'd done another surgery on her and they told her she'd got infected on the inside. And they had her whole stomach ripped open and for three weeks she laid there with her stomach open and we could see everything. We didn't know how we were just praying and begging the Lord. And they, they come in and the doctor said, we don't know what the deal is. We can't find no infection. It looks like it's cleared up. But he said, we're going to take her down to x-ray and do, do a scan on her. They come back and my little daughter's so weak and, and so worried. But the thing was, she was like Job. She said, the Lord, she said, Daddy, don't worry. The Lord will take yeah, care yeah. of you. And my faith was real with it. It was Thank getting low. I was scared to death. Sometimes it and, you know, and I told, I told her, I said, okay. And they come back in later in the evening. They said, she's got an abscess. And said, it's as big as a baseball. And said, it's in her stomach. And said, we got to take her down first thing in the morning. And, and we got to put a tube in and drain it. And, and, my, and she looked at me. She said, Daddy, just pray. Just pray and call people to pray. She said, I've been through so much. I don't want to do this, but I know I have to. I've been through so much. And, you know, we took downstairs, and, and she was crying. They took her down there. And we went in. This little x-ray guy was standing there. And he said, you know, I done last night. He, he said, I was the one who done her scan. He said, I've done this. He told her, he said, I've done it for 30 years, and, and I know what I'm doing. He said, all I'll do, he said, I'll put you to sleep, put a little tube in there, and we'll drain it. He said, it's going to take a couple of hours. But he said, I, I'll promise you I'll take care of it. And my little daughter was just laying there crying. I said, honey, I said, the Lord's going to take care of it. And I told him, I said, the Lord's going to take care of her. She's going to be fine. And, you know, he gave us his phone number, and he said, you all go get you a cup of coffee and, and come back in about... Third, uh, about two or three hours, said, said, I'll call you and update you. And I said, okay. And I got on the phone. I started calling. Call everybody. Call my mom. I said, call the preachers. Tell them that we got to have prayer right now. Stop what they're doing and pray because I know the Lord can take care of this. Yeah. And, you know, we walked down the hall probably 100 feet in the phone room. We went and gone five minutes in the phone room and that guy said, could you come back? And it worried us death. We thought, oh Lord, something's wrong. we got to get back. And we heard back and walked in. This little guy was standing there. And my little girl was just standing there smiling. And he looked at me and he said, I want to tell you something. So I've done this for 30 years. And he said, there was an abscess in there as big as a baseball last night. And he said, I opened up and put this scan on this morning. He said, I can't even get this little tube in it. He said, it's gone. He said, I've never Man. seen anything like this. I said, Jesus Christ. I said, he's the, the one who done that. I said, the prayers back at the home in the mountains, these old men, is the ones that say they help you. Yeah. I said, Please. one person's prayer. I had a lot of people praying. Amen. The one person's prayer got thank through. You, Lord. And we thank God for that. Amen. You know, so many Lord. witnesses I've had <clears throat> with, with my daughter with sickness and, and other people. You know, I worked at the hospital for 35 years, and mm. I've seen so many things and seen so many people come in. And, you know, I like telling this that lots of times the one blessing I had working there is I'd be working and all of a sudden I'd hear an emergency come over the intercom that somebody was coming in and I had a little office. I'd go in and I'd close the door but sometimes six or seven times a day if it, if it happened. I'd go in and I'd get down on my knees and I'd say, Lord, I want you to help this person. And if this person don't know you and they're in yeah. trouble, I beg you to just save them. Give yeah. them a chance. Let a word, let a seed be sowed down in their soul. Amen. Because the only way you're going to go to heaven is going by through Jesus Christ. That's right. You That's have right. to have the blood of Jesus yes, Christ right, applied to your soul. Right. And you right. and you'll repent. You have to be I, I got to where I was ready, like I said. Yeah. I was like Lazarus. I was a dead man. I, I was willing to give up everything I had Amen. just for a few, just to get it, feel that feeling. Yeah. And I got that feeling. <laughs> I know I got Thank that feeling. Yeah. That's a witness that God gives you. Sure. And when God's given me a lot of other witnesses through the years at the yeah. hospital. Yeah. I've been sick. I've had lots of things go wrong with me. But you know what? And, and I want to tell this last thing. I had a friend of mine I, I was good friends with for years. And I, I got a little sick, and, and I've been working in the garden and I, I've been a little bit sick and, and, and just having a little chest pain. I thought it was nothing. And, and you know, I, I went and 
I started having real bad back pain. It lasted for about two weeks. And finally, I called my wife, and she worked for my doctor. I said, I, I need a scan done or something. Yeah. I said, you know, I said, uh, I, I might have a kidney stone. I said, I'm in a lot of pain. And they done a scan, and, and they called me back about two hours later, and they said, you, uh, it showed up coronary artery disease in the mm -hmm. CT, so we need to run some more tests. And you know what? I went home, and I just said, Lord, I thought to myself, Lord, take care of it. And I went home and I worked in the garden. It was 90 degrees. I was out picking beans. This was July. I was doing my normal stuff. And, and you know, I come back the next morning, they done a test. And they said, now you don't go nowhere until we read this test. And they read it and they said, all right, we need to do an echo. We need to make sure your heart, your, your stress test wasn't good. And I, I said, all right, they done it. And my wife was in Nashville at the time. And, and the doctor came in and he said, we found something. And said, we need to do a heart cath on you. And I told him, I said, well, my, my wife's in nice one. She ain't going to be home for a few days. He said, I'm going to give you some medicine to take. Come back Monday morning. First thing Monday morning to come in. And, and uh, they done a heart cath. Well, that weekend, I, I was with some of my friends. And, and they told me, I said, ain't you worried about all this? I said, well, you know, I, I've asked the Lord. Uh, I asked the Lord if you, you know, when I found out about this, I said, Lord, well, one thing I ask you to do is take this worry away from me. Let my family realize and see that if something happens to me, that I've got a better place to go to. Take it away from me. That's right. And you know, I went a few, you know, went that Monday morning, was in heart, heart cath five minutes, and the doctor came in and said, you're blocked 100% on the left, right, 90 in the middle. So we got to do surgery first thing in the morning. You know, I went in and, and my wife was sitting there and she was crying and my kids, and they were so scared and worried. And I just sat there and I smiled at them. I said, you know, I know, I've seen what they do. I've seen how they open you up. I've worked here 35 years, I've seen what happened. And you know, my friends were telling me, so, so they were so scared. And I told them, I said, I know what's gonna to happen to me. I know what's gonna be here. When they open me up, I know the, 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 how serious this is. I said, but the thing is, is Jesus Christ yeah. has got me. Either yeah. way, yeah. I said, Either if I never yeah. wake yeah. up yeah. from this surgery, I said, I want you kids and my wife, I said, I want you to know yeah. that you've got, if you ever want to see me again, you're going to have to repent yeah. your yeah. sin. Yeah. The blood of Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. is going to have to yeah. be applied to your soul, yeah. and you're going to have to have that experience when he lifted the burden off of you, yes, just sir. like he did me, and then you'll go to heaven. That's I right. said, and you can see me. I said, so if I don't come out of this, just thank God that I was ready when I left you. I said, because that's the main thing. Yeah, it is. It is. God bless you. Brother Bobby. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, Lord. He's the great healer, isn't he, brother? Lord, that's so many things. We, we all Come on, honey.